This is uh, just a little presentation on using Serif's Movie Maker Starter Edition, their free version for making titles and doing some text work on your videos. First of all, let me open it. When you install it, it gives you this big round purple icon. We'll open it up here. The first thing you get is, you can turn this off, don't show this wizard again, but this is good. It has some learn, some tutorials down the side. Not all of them will apply to this Movie Plus Starter Edition, because the free edition is somewhat limited. I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, over here you have Media and Properties sections. Notice they have drop-downs. Click to Import Video. Click Media. Import Media. Import. And I am just going to use the little sample video that we got from Windows. Now what you'll notice is when you put your cursor over the video, it starts to play in place. And that's kind of good because if you're not quite sure if that's the clip you want, instead of dragging it down into the video track, and then, you know, having to play it, you can just hold, put your cursor on it and say, oh yeah, that's the video I want. So we're going to drag this down to the video track. And it already, it has somewhat of a title, but we can put another title on it. I'm going to scooch this up until it begins. I'm also going to click on the speaker to mute the sound because it'll drive me crazy and probably you crazy. Okay, we want to, let me show you some of the limitations. The effects, and you come up on the effects tab on the properties bar, and if you click add effect, see all the effects with a little raindrop on them? They put watermarks. Now, you can adjust your colors and brightness and contrast. You can use Chroma Keying, which I have a tutorial posted on YouTube already for. You can work with the color. Curves is, I don't know if you've used curves in, in like a photo editing program, where you can change the, the uh, black points and the white points, and it, it helps with contrast and things. You can do levels, grayscale, and I guess that's it. Now when you kick, click on one, like chroma key, there's always going to be a number of presets here. Levels. You can just do the plain levels, you can cut reds, cut greens, you can do custom, whatever. But a lot of the effects leave watermarks, so it's not really, I mean you can still use them. Noise reduction, you can add noise, uh, add a motion blur, okay, solarize, which gives really freaky colors. But, um, you know, it's not useful that way. So I always recommend if you're going, you, you can use Movie Plus for intermediate editing, like to do overlays and to do chroma keying, like green screening or compositing or whatever you'd like to do. But uh, you can't depend on it to do the regular effects. So do, do your initial editing in Movie Maker, save it as a movie, and then import it into Movie Plus to do your intermediate editing. Okay, so let's cancel that. We don't want to really add an effect. A couple other things like Menu Designer. Uh, in the full version, you could burn your movie to a DVD. You can't do it with the Starter Edition. Okay, but the important things, like I said, for intermediate editing, it's, it's a great program, and it produces a really high-quality video when you're finished. Okay, let's add some text to this. Over here, you will see the big T with a little plus sign. Click on it, and it will give you a place to, uh, excuse me, to type. Over here, it'll open in the properties bar. You'll get format, properties, animation, and effects. So if you want to put, and I'm going to scooch this over. I don't want it there. Let's put it here where we don't have an, uh, any other title. And then what you should, what you can do is, you can just, uh, here, okay, you can just start typing, this is my title, um, when you do title you should always do, whoops, you should always do capital letters, 
There we go. I've been doing uh, chores all day and running errands. So, okay, this is my title. Now, if you want to change, you know, so you have fonts here, you can change. You can change the size. You can bold, italicize, underline. You can place it to the left, to the middle, or to the right. Then there are fills. You can fiddle with the transparency. You can put a line around it. And then there are the effects again. And these are all the styles. Look at all the styles you can apply to your text. So, and just like every other program that does text, click. Whoops. Here, let me move this down. You can make it bigger, which I will, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. There we go. Not too big, so I'm going to do some things to it. Okay, so let's bold. Just click bold and you get bold. And let's say I want to so have highlighted title. And I want to apply this style, just click. Okay. And I want to change the, I don't know what this one is. You can see it's putting the, whoops, it's putting the examples up over here to the side. Let's make it, ugh. okay, let's do that one. Okay. So it has a fill, a green fill, whatever. Now watch, click on the fill and you can change the color. Let's make it pink. Click OK. And then click outside and there's your style that you've applied. You can even uh, just double click anywhere here. Let's backspace. Whoops. Excuse me. I don't want to get rid of it. OK. Click and drag just over the Y to highlight it. And let's make the Y that style. Oh. Let's, whoops. Sorry. And let's... Uh, Let's do a solid. Let's do a gradient for the Y. Okay. And you can change it by dragging these. You can just make it up there. Okay. There we go. Click outside and the Y has this weird gradient. Let's fill it with orange. Oops. I filled the whole thing with orange. Shame on me. Okay. And let's... uh. Change is to underline and I don't know. You can give it a style or not. You don't have to give it a style. And let's uh, change it to blue. Okay. And so, you know, in other words, you can do one letter. You can do one word. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, the problem with this is, and I haven't tried it yet, in order, let's see if you can put two on here. I haven't tried to. You can move it around. Let's move that up there. And let's, uh, I don't want that. Let's move this line, this middle. I don't know if you can see it because there's a red line across. Oh, okay. So you can put two. Thank heavens. Okay. And then you can type in, it's got my name. Let's go over here. Let's type in my name. And then I can grab that and I can put my name down here. So, you know, and then you can do the same thing. You can, you know, I just click once anywhere in the square on the whole thing. And let's bold face it. And let's make it, oh, I love purple. Okay. And then click outside, and then let's make it big. And you see where the little plus is? It's right in the middle, so you can always line it up and put it right in the middle. Okay, and that's how that works. So you can do all kinds of nifty things with titles with this. And like I say, there are a lot of other intermediate types of editing you can do with it that you cannot do with Movie Maker. Now over here, Media Properties. Okay, this... It, you, if you want to make the title longer or shorter, you'll notice right now the title goes for the whole length of the video. I don't want it that long, so I'm going to shorten it up. Animations, you can uh, click on the gallery. Notice these have little raindrops too. So the only one is you can do a movie plus starter edition zoom and fade thing here. And so let's click on it and see what kind of. Let's uh, zoom the words, okay? 
Then let's get over here. Whoops. And let's play it and see what it looks like. Okay. What we might want to do is move this over a little bit. Then it plays. And there's your title. Now I put that, I only put the animation on one thing. I didn't put it on, I only put it on this is my title, not my name. So let's click on my name and let's add a different animation. Let's fade the words. Okay, put it at the beginning again. Let's see what it looks like. And my name just fades in. Okay, now a couple of other things that you might want to know. Let's see. I know there are, and I'm get, I'm really tired, so I'm sorry. Um, well, if there is, I'll just have to email you or something. Now I don't. Oh, um, oh, phooey, now I forgot. Anyway, to save your to save your uh, movie here. Come up here to File, Export Movie right here, and choose File. You could export it to YouTube, too. Export File, and it's got a number of choices. I usually choose Windows Media. It does a good job. Now, this particular video clip is HD. Click on Next, and you get a bunch of choices. It automatically picks HD. If you have another like HD, full HD, always pick where it says P30. P25 is for Europe. Okay. Now, when you first open it, where it says frame rate, it's going to say 25 and PAL right here. It doesn't say NTSC. Okay. There it is. 25.000 PAL. And if you're not using HD where it automatically comes up as NTSC, what you're going to have to do is down here and click Customize. Over here where it says Frame Rate, use the drop down and select 29.970 NTSC and then click OK. Now when you do that, you get a little thing. You can name it. Now mine is US video, so I just click and it automatically changes. I already have that. So okay, you also get a size of your file. You also get the render quality. You get a choice draft if you just want to zip it through real fast just to see what it looks like. Or a preview quality, which is a little better. There is a best quality, but it warns you in parentheses that it's very slow. So I usually check check high. And then when you click finish. Okay, when you click finish, you get a save as box. Give your media name. It tells you that it's being saved as Windows Media Audio and Video WMV. Okay. And then you'll just call it, you'll just uh, click on save. Okay, I hope this helps. There are really a lot of little things you can do with this program and it's it's a fun program and it's a quality program.